happy new year everyone thanks so much for joining me at my channel this is going to be an everything video thanks first of all to superline collection for sending me this beautiful hair the hair that i used is soft dreadlock hair okay so i'm going to tell you a little bit more about the hair after i thank my subscribers thanks you guys for supporting me for being here with me for commenting for asking me questions and for motivating me to put out some new videos and try new things just so that you guys can see what it looks like now i have avoided this hair because i have seen some people install this hair and it didn't come out so nice so i just said you know what i'm going to back away from the soft dread hair and then guess what superline collection sent me this hair they didn't even tell me what hair they were sending me they just sent it to me and i said uh oh I guess I'll give it a try, right? I really like it. But the thing that I like most about it is whatever product they use to cure this hair works really, really well. It makes the hair soft. It makes it manageable. And I had a really quick install because of whatever product that is that makes this hair so manageable. I didn't have to add to it. I didn't have to spritz it with water or conditioner or anything this is all superline collection you guys it's just awesome and just amazing how i had a breeze installing this hair so if you want to see the full details of this be sure to watch the tutorial right now i have already set up my mannequin head and i just attached the net cap to the mannequin and secured with some pins and it's secured all the way around just to make sure everything stays in place while I make this wig. I installed the hair starting in the back and I have my latch hook already open so I'm going to get one lock. The hair I'm using to make this wig is by Superline Collection and it's another one of their luxury class brands. It is the Soft Dreadlock and I'm using the color number 2. The packaging is very nice. It doesn't say how long the hair is but I will be using the full length so I'm just going to open it up so that you guys can see what it looks like. Alright, so this is what the hair looks like once it's opened. It looks like dreads and I'll show you how I unravel it and make it look curly. If you want the full length, you're going to carefully cut it right there, making sure you don't cut the hair right there. And then... I'm just going to find all my middles and put it on my wrist like this, okay? To install the hair, you're going to get one of the dreads and push through. Make sure you leave a lot of space between each dreadlock because this hair tends to be pretty bulky once it's separated. So you're going to twist twice, pull through, pull both dreads through, and then pull apart at the base of the lock like that to make sure it's secure. And then start to unravel the dread. Now I unraveled mine three times and that's because that's just how I want to do it. Unraveling is very easy, but to make sure your curls are nice and neat make sure when you separate you have all strands separated without any strands in between and be patient while you do this because if you're impatient it's going to get frizzy on you because we are working with synthetic hair otherwise this hair is really beautiful and gives a really really beautiful curl When installing the next one, you want to install it right there so that you can cover up this gap. 
okay so I'm just going to push this one through right here and repeat the process that I've already shown you all right so I've finished making the wig and all I'm going to do is wear it because this is not the kind of hair you just wear and I'm going to make sure that I cut off all the ends cutting at a diagonal because I'm not using a layering scissors Now I'm just removing the wig off the mannequin hair and I'm going to try it on and I'll probably do a little more shaping to make sure everything fits the way I want it to fit. This is what the wig looks like after taking it off the mannequin head. It's really shrunk up but no worries it will stretch back out. I'm going to put it on now so that you can see what it would look like on me. Beautiful beautiful curls. Alright, so I've shown you guys how to get the look and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Now I'm just going to show you what the hair looks like. On the sides, these are the curls. They're really pretty. They're small, but they're very pretty. And very defined curls. And I'm going to show you the back. This is what the back looks like, very nice and flowy and bouncy hair and like I said in the tutorial be very careful while you unravel these locks because if you want your hair to come out looking like mine you just have to be patient. See how I can kind of play with mine a little bit and it's not frizzy it's just got these nice defined curls. You want to be gentle and patient while you unravel your hair okay and filing your nails will help too because I did have to file my nails before unraveling a little bit thanks so much for watching and supporting me be sure to check out my next video and also look at other videos by Superline collection they definitely have some quality products and I think you will also enjoy them in the description box I will post a link of where you can purchase this hair if you would like to try it, I will see you in the next video and I wish you all the best in 2016 and years to come, you and your families. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.